Hello, and welcome to the first tutorial video of the new Rets Cloud UI. And for those who don't know, UI does stand for User Interface. Uh, this is the first time since 2003 that we're actually placing a user interface um, to make it easier um, on our users to actually manage their own feeds, set them up, manage the queries, um, look at the real-time errors that are coming across um, and also set up their FTPs for the image download. So we're excited to get this launched um, and we're excited to actually have these videos. Um, to get started you want to go to retscloud.com and go ahead and click on start for free. When you do you will actually launch into the actual UI uh, there are several options across the top, um, home, login, contact, and register. If you do need to contact us, you can always click the contact button, and there you will find our um, 1-800 number and, of course, our email. Um, it is sometimes easier to use the email because it is part of um, a whole support ticket system. Uh, makes it very easy for us to track the issues that users might have. Um, but to get started, go ahead and click register. Um, and really, we just need an email and password, and you're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and log in since I already have one. And get started. Um, when you first come to your account page, you will see a list of all the um, RETS accounts that you've already loaded. Um, I already have one here. I'm just going to add a quick test and we're going to go through each of the fields that we need to set up an actual account. Um, we have options right now for queries, verifying the RETS, verifying the database, and removing the account. If I click on Verify RETS, I will get a message that says um, we can't verify it because we haven't set anything up. So let's go ahead and click into Test and get started. When you first sign up with your MLS provider, uh, they will give you the RETS information. Um, normally it's a, a login URL, um, a username, a password, and sometimes a user agent. Um, this can be, you know, some people use the Reds Connector slash one zero uh, user agent because that's accepted by most MLSs. Um, sometimes you can create your own, um, as in the example on the line, it does say Reds Cloud 1.0. Um, and sometimes these are assigned to you. Um, so you'll want to check the paperwork that the MLS sent you or the emails to make sure that they didn't assign a user agent for you. Um, the next is a user agent password. This is fairly rare to get this, um, but the MLS will give it to you uh, when you do sign up if it's required. The next is the RETS version. Uh, this automatically defaults to RETS 1.5 and in some cases MLS servers will require you to put the proper version in um, but again this will be on your paperwork or the email that the MLS sent you with your RETS information and will contain the, the proper RETS version if it's necessary to put it in. The next section is actually the database settings. Um, the first thing we're going to need is the IP address or the domain name of your MySQL database. Um, most times these settings can be found in your cPanel or Plesk panel. Um, if you're using GoDaddy's virtual dedicated server, they have a MySQL or database tab in their administrating settings. Um, so you'll want to get that information. Um, you'll also want to check with your hosting provider to make sure that you can connect remotely to your database. 
Um, some of the website providers do require that you do put an IP address or domain name of the connecting server. You can also contact support if you have any questions about where to find this information in your web hosting provider and we can definitely walk you through that. Um, the next thing you will need is the database name and then we'll need database username and the password. Now the username and password that you give our system does need the ability to write and update the table. Um, and again the database table is the second field in this list. Currently the system defaults to the standard 3306 point port but if you need to you can always assign a different port if your setup is not standard. So I'm going to go ahead and click back. Um, since we didn't set up the test I'm going to go ahead and verify the RETS information on the account that we do currently have set up. So as long as all of my information is correct, we'll get a pop-up that says that it was verified. If you do have problems, the error that was given when trying to test the account will be shown. If you have continued issues, feel free to contact support. Next we'll verify the database, make sure everything is set up properly. It is so we can go ahead and move forward. If you need to, you can always remove an account. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this test account. And there we go. So that's it for the first part of the tutorial. Um, go ahead and click on Tutorial 2 to see how to set up a query. Um, and Tutorial 3 will be about the photo uploads. Thank you for your time.